Hola community, it's Pablo Vasquez with good good news. Yeah, they're they're good news. So let's talk about it. Remember the tracker curfew, this announcement that was done last year, right before Christmas, where it was uh, like a lockdown for developers before everybody had to be locked down in the world, um, where developers, uh, some of them will be assigned to just looking into uh, the bug tracker, like assigning them or triage if they are actual real bugs or they're maybe not real bugs or maybe they are considered too uh, deprecated maybe because it was on an area of Blender that doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, the thing is that there were way too many bugs. There were like 2,000 bugs and they had to be triaged, they had to be tested. So the, the, the tracker curfew was getting uh, some developers to just full-time triaging reports and other developers to work on fixing those bugs two days a week full time so two days like completely full only dedicated to back fixing which is uh which i mean yeah it slows down some of the new features but it's uh, needed for a stable software so if you look at the last uh blog post by the lie here tracker curfew wrap up you'll see that it was a success actually so on uh, in february the number went down uh, over 1,300 issues down, so we had uh, around 700 or so. You can see here the, the how much of the the burden was this bug report. So you can see uh, 2.80 already started with uh, almost a uh, thousand bugs uh, or issues reported. Then the beta went like crazy and then the release even worse because yeah, Blender got very popular, 2.80 was a success but we reached uh, almost 2000 open issues. Tracker curfew happens, bam, down to a bit over 500. It's good, it's not perfect but it's good. However, we can't just continue with the 500 open bags, it's just a bit too much. Uh, you can see here the trend. So what's what's gonna happen if you continue this way? Right now we have around 30 new bug reports every day, but also 30-ish get uh, handled every day. So if you just continue like this, we're now gonna reach the ambitious number of, uh, was it 200, 300? Yes, 200 or 300 issues more or less that would be nice to have around. An issue can be anything from a, a very serious issue with a graphics card or maybe something that is more like a paper cut or maybe something that is related to some obscure driver combination thing. It can be anything really. So 200, 300 words, uh, it's okay. Thing is, since we have around five, over 500 right now and the same number of uh, bugs every day, new bugs every day and handled every day, this doesn't move. So two weeks, real curfew. So to wrap up, developers are gonna spend two weeks on only fixing. So the entire development team will work for the next two weeks on a bugs fixing sprint. It means that, yeah, it's just like stop whatever you're working on, even if it's new, exciting new features, Sorry, but Blender needs to be stable for 2.83 release. This means that if two weeks will be dedicated to this, the whole release will be moved two weeks into the future. This, um, this is just to get a, a more stable Blender. So that's the issue that it will move, it will move us into June. So the expected release date for 2.83 was the 20th of uh, May in, in eight days. So if you were preparing a party, uh, maybe move it, maybe tell the band to come uh, two weeks later for June, June 3rd, that's uh, the 3rd of June, that's the expected release date of 2.83. This also moves 2.90 two weeks uh, into the future because if we, like, if we want the same uh, features that are planned for 2.90 to make it in time, two weeks is a lot of, uh, a lot of time for some development. Uh, phases, especially for Beacon 1, where you get all the new features. So, 2.90, you can go here in the Blender developer uh, page, 2.90 should happen at the end of August. So it's still August, so that doesn't change that much. But yeah, this, this should get a more stable Blender two weeks later. It's not 
a huge deal. I hope it doesn't affect your work or your companies or your studio, um, but it's, it's all for the better. It's for a more stable blender. And this could be done faster if the development fund will grow more. So we actually reached recently, we reached, we passed about 4,000 individual members. So thank you everybody that is contributing to the development fund. This is paying the salary of the people and developers working on, especially on back fixing. So yeah, back fixing is uh, not as exciting as getting new features, but somebody has to do it. So the development fund is a great place for it. Thank you for all the big uh, to all the big sponsors and the small sponsors and all the the all the sponsors that are making this uh, happen because this is how we get a stable blender. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye bye.